Chicago neighborhoods such as Ravenswood and North Center really do have a lot going for them. Proximity to transportation, all kinds of interesting restaurants and plentiful bars. And now there's a malt row near Ravenswood with a half dozen breweries and a spirits distiller. And now it's creating some liquor tourism for them in that area. Here's our hungry hound, Steve Delinsky now with his Saturday night sampler. The taps at Spiteful Brewing have recently expanded along with the business, even though the founders started brewing six years ago. They produce IPAs, porters, and lagers, and insisted on staying in the neighborhood even though they had to expand and move. It's a nice collaborative feeling that we have with them, and it allows us to kind of build our relationships and push craft beer um, together as opposed to individually. I feel like we can fight the, the fight a little bit easier uh, collectively than we can individually. Refreshing Belgian Vits, dark malty stouts, and bitter IPAs are among the options, along a wall with 16 taps. When we opened, I think we were the 10th production brewery in Chicago, and that was in 2012, and now there's over 60, I think. Just down the road, Empirical Brewery has been in business since 2014. They added a tap room a year later. They take a scientific, empirical approach to making beer. So we'll do multiple iterations of each beer and figure out what's best about them, what needs work, and we'll make seven to eight iterations sometimes of our main production beers before we actually choose the best style. And Red sours are a bit out of the ordinary, but best bet is just to try a flight and see which style you prefer. During the winter, we do more stouts and porters. Um, during the summer, we'll do more sours and IPAs and pale ales, but we always have something on the menu for any kind of style that you're looking for. Further south along Ravenswood is the two-year-old Dovetail, which offers a specialized slate of beers. So we do continental European style beers, uh, German, Czech, Belgian, others uh, using very traditional methods. Dost also gets involved in passion projects like a spontaneously fermented Lambic style beer that took two years to make. There are quite a few options from the in-house taps, some of which are barrel aged. Seeing workers skim off an open vat makes you feel as if you're in Belgium. But Dost says the reason they're here is the supporting role of the other breweries nearby, as well as the neighborhood. We're really close to transportation. Uh, we've got a, a great residential neighborhood around, around us uh, with people who love uh, love drinking craft beer. And a cooperative alderman is, uh, is one of the most important things. And we only talked about three different breweries, but there are a half dozen in this neighborhood, including Half Acre and Beguile. And if you're interested in spirits, there's Koval up the street. Cheers to that. In North Center, Steve Delin. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.